Police are searching for a gunman who shot and killed a man at a Brooklyn subway station. Good day's Brayla Tomasetti is at the Rockaway Avenue station. It's in Ocean Hill with the details on this investigation. Briella, looks like they're still searching for this suspect. Good morning. Yeah, they are. Dan and Zashani, good morning to both of you. Police, though, have identified the victim just this morning as 47-year-old Freddie Weston of Crown Heights. The search for the gunman, as you mentioned, is still ongoing. Police say they're canvassing video from the subway station itself and from the surrounding areas with hopes that will help lead them to an arrest. It was another violent night in the transit system. This time, a 47-year-old man was shot to death at a subway station in Brooklyn. It was real regular for me to get shot here all the time. Police say they received calls for shots fired at the Rockaway Avenue station in Ocean Hill at around 11.15 last night. When officers arrived on scene, they found the victim, who cops have now identified as Freddie Weston, on the mezzanine level near the C train with a gunshot wound to his head. He was taken to Brookdale Hospital, where he died from his injuries. I don't feel really safe at this point. Police are also still looking for the person or people responsible for killing 25-year-old Denzel Chan of Texas and injuring four others at this weekend's West Indian Day Parade in Crown Heights. In an interview on Good Day New York, the NYPD's Deputy Commissioner of Operations, Kaz Daughtry, said police are investigating whether there were multiple gunmen. We don't have an identification on in the individual, but we have a couple of people that we like. There's been, we think there's more than one person that was actually shooting. The NYPD took 31 guns off the street and made 35 arrests on Labor Day weekend. And despite the deadly pair of shootings, new crime statistics released by the department show that crime was down by 6.4% citywide in August compared to last year. So when you look at August in terms of violence, the mo least amount of violence we had since the modern era of our comms down 31 years, 74 shooting incidents, which is still a lot, mm -hmm. but it was the lowest ever in, in August. Those numbers also show that discounting the COVID years, 2024 is the third safest year on record for subway crime in New York. Riders, though, don't quite see it that way. I hear all the time people getting stabbed, pushed onto trains, like it's, it's crazy, something every day. A lot of people use the subway every day. And that's just life. That's life in New York, but it's scary. According to the NYPD, more than 60% of shootings in the city are gang related. Police believe that the parade shooting was also tied to gang activity. It's unclear what led up to this one here at the subway station in Brooklyn. For now, we're live though in Ocean Hill. Dan, we'll send it back to you. A very active investigation, Brela. Thank you very much. It is